Wojak goes to college to get a communications degree with a minor in 17th century French intersectional gender studies. He spends $150,000 and it takes him five years to graduate. But he's really happy because he's finally going to be able to get a job and start paying off that student loan debt. But then he starts applying to jobs and he realizes that absolutely nobody cares about his degree. And he basically just wasted all of his time, money, and effort for nothing. But it's okay because there's a better way. What if I told you that you could earn $40 an hour while working from the comfort of your home with zero money, zero experience, and without a college degree. Well, you can, and what makes it even better is it's actually easier to get hired for these types of positions than traditional jobs. In fact, with some of these, you can literally get hired and start making money right away. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button, and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a pre-certification specialist. Now, this has nothing to do with certificates or certifications or anything like that. This is a position where you make surgery plans and get insurance approvals for scheduled medical procedures so that patients don't get ambushed by insurance surprises. And so you're basically like an insurance wizard, conjuring approvals to ensure that the patient's medical journey stays on track. And pre-certification specialists make about thirty-seven dollars to $51,000 a year. Now, another title that this job may be known as, it's very similar, is going to be a prior authorization specialist. And there's a really good video I saw on YouTube of someone who kind of went through their day-to-day -day tasks in this position. And there are many opportunities available at the remote level. And some similar Similar positions with similar skill sets that you can get into would be an insurance verification coordinator. They make about forty-one to fifty-six thousand dollars a year, and a pre-certification supervisor. They make about fifty to seventy-two thousand dollars a year. Now, this is an entry-level job; doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. However, if you want to look up some free online content or online content that doesn't cost very much, you can look up stuff on medical billing and coding training, healthcare administration courses, or insurance and pre-certification workshops. And overall, I really like this one. Uh, it's one of those mini medical related careers where you can make pretty good money very easy to get into it's very stable it's very steady I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a brand educator and this one is also sometimes known as a brand ambassador and this is a vital role in the marketing world where you get to engage educate and inspire consumers about some of the most inspiring brands around and basically you're gonna be engaging with consumers to provide information and promote products which helps increase brand awareness as well as sales and this position is typically hired by marketing agencies and some sometimes directly by brands. And you can think of this position almost like an enthusiastic tour guide for the brand world, leading consumers on a journey of discovering their fan favorites. And brand educators make about forty-one to $70,000 a year. And I really do like this one. I think being a brand ambassador, a brand educator is a really good opportunity. And this is especially good if you want to start your own YouTube channel or personal brand in the future. And I've talked many times about the power of a personal brand and how it's completely changed my life. It basically took me from a nine to five job that I hated all the way to being being able to travel the world, make six figures a month, and I only have to work four hours a week to do it. And I've helped a bunch of other people do the exact same thing. And I do have some free training on exactly how you can do the same thing, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. And additionally to that, in order to give you guys the best possible value and help you as much as possible, I do a live training once a week, which you can also check out. I'll put it in the description and the pinned comment below as well. Next is going to be a property and casualty insurance producer. And this is where you get paid to basically be an insurance superhero that protects people from life's unexpected twists and turns. And basically Basically, you're going to be helping to guide clients to make the right insurance decisions. And this is going to be done in order to protect their property and their assets. In this position, you make about fifty-eight dollars to $100,000 a year. So it does pay quite well. And there's honestly a bunch of different insurance-related careers as well that you can go into that are slightly different than this one. For instance, you could be an insurance sales agent. They make this much. Or an insurance sales manager. They make this much. Now, you obviously don't need to have a college degree or previous experience to get into this. But with that being said, some things that would look really good on your resume or in your portfolio would be an insurance licensing course, sales or customer service training, and property and casualty insurance training as well. But overall, I really like this one. I'm going to give it an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be a community coordinator. And this might be good for you if you've ever wanted to help be a driving force behind nurturing or just creating vibrant communities, all from the comfort of your home. And this is a central role where organizational and interpersonal skills make a lasting impact. Now, an interesting fact here is the 
the largest amount of community coordinators in the United States work in newspaper, periodical, book, and directory publishers sector, and that's about 28.7% of all jobs. And community coordinators make about forty-two dollars to $59,000 a year, so they're pretty well compensated. There's also senior community coordinators that make this much, and community managers that make this much. And yeah, this is a pretty good one, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience typically. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, a skill set that's going to be a little bit better and probably a little bit better paying as well, that's somewhat related to a community coordinator would be something like a social media manager. And this is a type of digital marketing. And if you're interested in becoming a digital marketer, there's going to be some free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. And this is from a company that has helped a bunch of people that I've interviewed on this channel land in demand jobs. So definitely check it out. Next is going to be an admissions representative. And in this position, you can be the friendly voice who guides students to the next step in their education. And this is kind of like being a concierge at a hotel, except you're likely going to be working working for a college and you're going to be guiding people towards the right degrees or the right programs for them. And on top of that, you're going to be making sure that the college itself is a good fit for the student. And admissions representatives make about 56 to $81,000 a year. Now, the funniest thing about this is even though you're probably going to be working for a college, we have actually looked and many of these positions do not require a college degree, which is kind of hilarious. But some other career paths that are similar that you could go down would be admissions managers. They make this much and director of customer services make this much. But overall, this one's pretty good. I like it. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, comment on this video if you like these, you don't like these. I want to know which ones you like and don't like, or if there's one that I should have put on here that I didn't. Go ahead and comment below, and there's a very good chance it'll make it into a future video. Next is going to be a settlement coordinator. And this is somebody who negotiates settlements on behalf of clients. And this means they manage relationships between the clients creditors, collection agencies, and debt buyers. And this is kind of like being a diplomat in the financial world where you navigate tricky negotiations to come to peaceful settlements. And settlement coordinators make about forty-nine dollars to $75,000 a year. And in many cases, you might be able to save clients thousands of dollars by negotiating their debt down. So they earn every penny of that. Now there's senior settlement coordinators that make this much. This is gonna be a similar job, of course. So you can make a good amount of money in this career path. But overall, I do like this one. I'll give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Although I will say that working in financial services can be a bit boring, so it has to be for the right personality. Next is going to be a file clerk. And this is where you're basically a professional organizer. So if you're the type of person who absolutely loves color coding and organizing things, this could be a perfect job for you. And the funny thing is, yes, you can actually do this remotely. With the onset of everything being online, virtual scanners, cloud computing, etc., many of these positions are actually remote. And basically, you're going to be managing and organizing paperwork and office records. And you're going to ensure that the data is accessible, accurate, and confidential. And you're typically going to be hired directly by businesses or the administrative departments of businesses. And file clerks make about $35,000 to $50,000 a year. Some similar positions would be an administrative assistant, they make this much, and an office manager that makes this much. And overall, this one's really good, especially if you're interested in organization. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this with a friend who maybe really loves organization or something else that you might have seen in this video. The channel basically relies on word of mouth marketing because we don't have some fancy marketing team or anything like that. We just like to make really good content and then you guys spread it. Next is going to be a remote MD call specialist. And in this position, you're going to be a vital link between patients, doctors, and pharmacists which ensures seamless healthcare communication. And if you've ever tried to navigate the maze of US healthcare, you'll know how difficult this can be sometimes. Oftentimes, the doctor and the pharmacist are on completely different pages, and the patient just ends up confused and angry. And this isn't necessarily the doctor or the pharmacist's fault, it's mostly the system itself. But that's why this position is so useful, because they basically bridge the gap and they make sure communication is seamless. So medical call specialists make about thirty-nine dollars to $57,000 a year, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, relatively easy to get into. It does require training, but they usually provide the training at the place that actually hires you. And this is yet another one of those thousands of different healthcare related careers that are super niche, where you can make pretty good money, it's pretty easy to get into, and it's incredibly stable. Now, some other positions you could get into would be a senior MD call specialist or a patient care coordinator. They make this much, or you could become a clinical liaison or a patient care manager and they make this much. But yeah, this is a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 
7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be another niche healthcare related career, and that's going to be a registration referral specialist. And I know it sounds like it has nothing to do with healthcare, but basically the way healthcare works is a lot of the time a doctor will refer a patient to a specialist doctor. So maybe you have to get some scans done, they might refer you to a radiologist. And the problem with this is sometimes the radiologist or the other specialist doctor doesn't have your full records, so it's hard for them to give you proper care. And this is why the registration referral specialist will make sure that all of the appropriate records are transferred. And this ensures accuracy in patient information and coordinating information between healthcare providers. And again, this is all because the US healthcare system is an absolute mess, which I know firsthand because I used to be a pharmacist. But with that being said, in the current US healthcare system, this position provides a ton of value. An interesting fact about this is in the United States, more than a third of patients are referred to a specialist each year. And specialist visits constitute more than half of outpatient visits, right? And this lady actually made a video on the day in the life of a referral specialist. So it's a pretty good video. You can check it out if you'd like. In this position, you make about 38 to $51,000 a year. Some similar careers would be a senior referral coordinator, they make this much, and a patient access manager, they make this much. And overall, it's another solid healthcare career. Does it pay a ridiculous amount of money? No. But is it easy to get into? Yes. Is it stable? Does it pay relatively well? Yes. And can it lead to higher paying jobs? Definitely. So yeah, really solid one. Subscribe if you appreciate me digging up these hidden gems of careers. And if you haven't checked it out already, I did do a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs, which you can check out by clicking right here.